Can you share us your thoughts on um, the new system that you've seen? I mean, what are your thoughts on it? Well, um, I think growing vegetables uh, is uh, can be therapeutic. It can be taken up as a hobby. Um, I think it is a good, uh, you know, alternative to a modern lifestyle because we are so also busy and rushing from time to time. And uh, you know, if you can do take up planting, whether it's vegetables or ornamental plants at home, uh, it can be a very nice, relaxing hobby. And this time round, we are here to look at some of the possible solutions that can be uh, implemented in our urban environment. Uh, some people would have uh, small gardens, uh, you know, at their backyard, so they can try to grow vegetables. Uh, but others uh, live in apartments. Uh, then that will depend whether they have uh, balcony access and and uh, you know uh, space uh, where there is enough sunlight you know to grow vegetables. So um, under the cool ideas for better HDB living, uh, we are exploring a number of uh, uh, possible things to do. So earlier on we have competitions involving uh, you know designing better way of drying your clothes, uh, you know improving ventilation. Uh, better shelter from rainwater and so on. Uh, but this time round, we are focusing uh, on something people can do uh, actively uh, to you know to develop as a hobby. So growing vegetables is one of the potential uh, things that we can do in the HDB environment. Mm. I think already we have seen uh, uh, community gardens uh, in throughout the HDB estates where uh, some you know part of the the. Uh, open spaces are being uh, allocated for uh, growing plants, uh, including ornamental plants and fruit plants and, and vegetables. Uh, so it is up to the uh, community gardens, uh, up to the RCs, whether they want to uh, use it uh, to grow uh, ornamental plants or vegetables. Uh, if it's uh, ornamental plants, then the end parks uh, can be uh, you know, an agency to help them. Uh, but if it's growing vegetables, then the uh, AVA can be of help. So um, you've seen the veggie pipe system. So you have experienced planting vegetables in your home. Do you think this is something viable? Uh, yes, I think uh, the veggie pipe system is a uh, kind of a... Uh, they, they make use of the existing uh, you know, piping uh, components. So you don't have to uh, go out, you know, to fabricate something new. So it's readily available and uh, you have seen how we assemble them. Uh, we need to do a little bit of tweaking in terms of water supply. If you want a dripping system, otherwise you can always water the plant as, uh, you know, uh, twice a day. Uh, so what it does offer is a, is a readily available system where you can just put in the uh, soil composite uh, and the seedlings and then you can grow the plant from there. So it's, it's economical and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, can be done easily. You mentioned um, concerns about the water supply. Can you elaborate a bit about Oh, uh, it oh, depends on how high-tech you want to go. So if you want to go the high-tech way and uh, uh, the urban lifestyle way, uh, once you're connected, there's a pump and uh, there is a uh, automatic dispenser. So you will kind of keep the the uh, soil moist uh, by itself. You don't have to you know you don't have to do very much. Uh, but if uh, you have uh, the time, then you can water the vegetables twice a day, uh, which is what uh, is needed. Basically, it's still quite simple. But you just have to remember to do that. So if you are traveling and you are away for a period of time, you have to arrange for someone to do that. Vegetables are relatively, uh, let's say. Let's say fragile, you know, they are not like your bougainvillea or some of the ornamental plants. Some of the plants they can they can go without water for a number of days. But vegetables, they are they are tender, and they uh, really you need to apply tender living care, uh, you know, on a daily basis. Are there any other challenges that you face? I mean, from your experience, or any things that you think you need to iron out? Still, we're trying to grow vegetables in like confined spaces. Well, the good thing about growing your own vegetables, uh, apart that. Apart from the fact that it is a hobby, uh, you also get to eat your the fruit of your labor. Uh, plus, it is uh, pesticide free, you know, so you don't have to apply any pesticide. Uh, so that is uh, the, the health, uh, the part of it. Uh, the downside, though, is that uh, you know, uh, it's not the downside, but you you must find the right condition. Uh, in other words, you must have enough sunlight, you know, every day on the plant. So the orientation of the plant is important. Uh, you cannot be too indoor uh, because if there's not enough ventilation, 
the plant will not grow. Uh, you also need to worry about uh, too much rain. If it's totally exposed, and in, like in the last few weeks we have plenty of rain, such heavy rainfall will also kill uh, the plant by compacting the soil too much. Uh, so I think uh, fighting, finding the optimal condition for it to grow uh, is, uh, is a dis discovery process itself. Yeah. So moving forward, how is um, MND going to encourage like, more um, HDB dweller to uh, take up like, such innovative uh, systems to, to farm in uh, at home? Yeah. Well, we, are, we have already seen uh, community gardens uh, springing up and uh, many of these gardens, uh, they, they, they grow in number and an, a good portion of them also are asking how they can grow vegetables. So they, so they need some help. So uh, AVA and NPARKS will do their part in terms of uh, educating uh, you know, the, the RC, the members of public, on how uh, to grow certain kind of plants in their own gardens. Apart from that, we will also make available information uh, online, you know, so that people uh, on the AVA and NPARKS website can find out, you know, uh, some of the DIY tips. Uh, and uh, later on, we will also uh, start to introduce uh, some of the commercial solutions that are available today. So if you go into a florist or, you know, a vendor, uh, they may be able to give you a... Uh, out of a box solution, you know, ready to go. You buy this box, it comes with soil, it comes with seed, and then this is the instruction, and you can actually start uh, growing. Uh, and uh, of course, we also have a competition uh, ongoing. Uh, this competition is to invite uh, ideas uh, that can be commercialized. So we hope that by the time the competition closes, uh, we will get uh, a fair share of uh, interest. Uh, that you know, some of these can be taken to the next level to be commercialized. Uh, we need some of these solutions that are uh, tailored to our environment because we are we are urban, we are tropical, uh, and like you say, we don't have a lot of space, you know, to 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 lay out, you know, uh, a farm like this that we that we see there. So I think we need to customize and and hopefully, uh, you know, some of these solutions can turn out to be effective. Okay,你说 那么为了让这个居民 啊，我们是希望有商家啊，能够通过这种啊，这种呃实验性的这种方法，进一步的呃提供这个商业化的一些解决方案啊，就是能够把整套系统呢做成一个小系统呃，来这个零售来批发也好啊，卖给我们有
有条件的情况下，我们在不违反这个呃公共走廊啊，这个包括防火的这种呃条规之下，他们如果是要愿意种植的话，我们是非常鼓励的。嗯，那接下来就是你们呃，就是建屋局会怎么样去鼓励居民，就是继续就是说有自己种植的些这样。嗯嗯呃，其实这个呃，园林局跟这个呃呃呃农粮局呢，他们都呃一直从去年开始都有加强这个方面的推广，就是说呃，凡是居委会有兴趣呃这个打造他们的呃。邻里的花园的时候呢，他们都给他们一些技术上的协助，比如说啊，给他们的会员啊授课啊，啊解释啊，那么呃、啊、提供一些这个呃、啊、材料啊，跟那些啊花卉啊，或者是它的种子的那些呃的原料，那么让这些呃居民呢，能够比较有系统的、比较科学的来种植这些呃花卉或者是蔬菜。那么在其他方面呢，呃，这个居民也可以通过呃龙粮局跟这个园林局的这个网站呢、啊，啊，来得知一些呃基本的种植的这个尝试，啊，那么在接下来呢，我们也会呃进一步的鼓励这个有兴趣的商家呢，呃，在呃这个创造新的这个种植系统里面，啊。提供更多的这个解决的这个方案啊！我们现在有一个比赛，这个比赛，呃，就是邀请呃有有兴趣的商家或者是公共人公众人士呢，提供他们在这方面的想法跟心得。我们把这些呃建议呃收集之后，呃，以后我们进一步把它商业化。那么，呃，到时候呢，就希望这些呃可以栽栽栽种的系统呢，可以呃。很很廉价的这个呃，能够在公众能够买到。